Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your weekly love reading from the 21st through the 27th. What's going on with you, water bearers? <clears throat> this is a collective reading. This may or may not resonate. And if it does, take what serves you, what rings true to you, Aquarius. This week, guys, holy fuck. All right, guys, first of all, who the hell are you involving yourself with? All right, you may be surrounding yourself by people that may not be so reliable, by people that have other things going on, and it's as if whatever it is in, whatever's in your proximity is definitely stirring the bees hive. All right, this week, guys, there seems to be a, a major conflict here that, that has already existed. This isn't anything new. This energy is already existent, all right? But there's progression. There's progression is what I'm seeing here, all right? Because from the five, we move to the 10. And what this is telling me is that despite this progression, it's gonna be difficult to deal with. This is nothing easy to deal with, all right? However, it's something necessary. It's something necessary that's going to put you back in your power. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. You know what? Sometimes we're meant to cross paths with people that fuck our world up. It's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to you. I'm sure it's happened to you. But as soon as you realize that that situation was an opportunity for growth, for building and cultivating resiliency and setting boundaries, learning your own boundaries. The situation becomes a blessing, guys. It's a blessing in disguise. You later transform you know, a spiteful feeling towards someone that caused turbulence in your life. You transform that into something positive and that person later becomes someone significant, someone that you learn, someone that you have some sort of realization from. And to be able to be thankful for that type of person to have crossed your path, that's powerful. That's alchemy. You're no longer thinking and feeling and experiencing reality through the feeble feelings that come with being human. You become the consciousness, the director of your own reality. <clears throat> Three more. Just ten. Nice, nice. Okay, so I'm clarifying this ten. Right? It looks like the battery's gonna die. I'm gonna have to swap it here shortly. Nevertheless, it, it's it's a dark path that you gotta walk through. It's inevitable. This, it's a dark path, nevertheless, you can navigate it. It's not gonna be easy to navigate it. And I'm talking about your emotional state, the wounds that have been inflicted upon you through this situation. Nevertheless, you work through this and you get back to the one, to the beginning, right? You see, this is a number nine. You add it to a one, it becomes, <clears throat> what, 10. And from 10, one plus zero equals one again. You see, this opportunity is going to open up an avenue for you. It's not gonna be an easy one. You're gonna to have to navigate this. But like I mentioned previously, this situation is Aquarius. As I mentioned, I had to switch the battery. Nevertheless, where I left off, I was telling you that this situation is gonna put you back in your power. So. Plain and simple, guys, that's what I got for you. You're gonna be walking through a dark time this week, all right? But it's only as dark as you make it. It's only as dark as you make it. You're gonna have to walk through the trial, okay? But know that the finish line is there within grasp. And once you cross that finish line through the pain, and once you embrace that wounded warrior and perseverance, you'll have the clarity in your mind, and not only in your mind, but in your life in your physical realm as well. It's like, you got it up here, 
Well, best believe you're going to have it here. That is what I'm seeing. I see you heading towards the embodiment of the magician. Now, <clears throat> typically I dig into whomever it is that you're dealing with, but I see where this is going and I see no need to. I see no need to. And if you're, you know, wishing to know about who, whoever put you in this place, get rid of that thinking. Get rid of the thinking and focus on yourself. All right? You're important, not them. <clears throat> this is your message. So, what advice do we have for you? From the 21 to the 27th, Aquarius. This is the ultimate, the best advice. Something that you can embody that will facilitate you in dealing with this tumultuous, situation Aquarius Ooh, all right fuck yeah plain and simple guys you guys are gonna have to walk away from a situation there's a situation here that has a sense of history okay however here you are walking away guys walking away from this so what you're being called to is to think with your head, not with your emotions. Like I mentioned, you're important. Put yourself first. Put yourself first. You're an intelligent individual. You know what is good for you. Act on that. Act on it. This is what I got for you. I'll see you next week.